Hi everybody! In this video we're going to learn how to control a 3D object using the arrow keys. In order to control something with arrow keys we need to understand the coordinate system, we need to understand key codes, and then we need to understand how to listen to which keys are pressed. So let's look at the coordinate system first. The coordinate system on 3JS the origin is in the middle of the screen. The origin is where the x-axis is 0, the y-axis is 0, and the z-axis is 0. The x-axis is for left and right, the z-axis is for forward and backward, and the y-axis is up and down. So we're going to use the x-axis. So when you're going left, so you're subtracting numbers from x, and when you're going to the right, x is getting bigger, so you're adding numbers to x and we're going to use the Z axis. When you're going forward, you're subtracting numbers from Z, and when you're going backward, Z is getting bigger, so you're adding numbers to Z. Left minus X, right plus X, forward minus Z, backward plus Z. There's the coordinate system in a nutshell. Now key codes. Characters on the keyboard have a key code so the computer knows which keys you are pressing. Okay, so if I want to press the left arrow key, the key code is 37. See, arrow left, the key code is 37. If I want to use the right arrow, the key code is 39. When I want to use the up arrow, it's 38, and the down arrow is 40. And when these arrow keys are pressed, we can tell the computer to move that object whichever direction we want. All right, so now we're going to listen to which keys are pressed. So we're going to use document.onkeydown is equal to function and then an E in brackets, and then inside of this function we're going to tell the program what to do when the key is pressed. So what do these words mean? Document means the web page loaded in the browser. So when something happens to the document on the web browser we can listen for certain things. And we want to listen for a very specific thing, on key down. That means when a key is pressed down. Whenever a key is pressed down, that's going to fire an event that we can handle and tell the computer what to do when that event is fired. And then function means that this function will run whenever a key is pressed down. And the E in the brackets means that particular event. And you can use any name you want. A lot of people use E because it's just one letter and it's fast to type. Inside this function, I'm just putting console log e. I'm going to print out in the console what that event is, so you know what it looks like. So I'm pressing a key. So here we go, keyboard event. And there's a whole bunch of information listed that we can get out of there. So it says key arrow up in a string and key code 38. We're going to use the key codes. So we can listen for whatever key is pressed using document.onkeydown. And inside this function, we're going to figure out what happens for whenever a particular key is pressed. Okay, so now I've added one step here. If e.keycode, so e is the event and key code is the property of that event, right? It records the key code. So I'm checking if the key code is equal to 37, the left arrow, then I'm changing the position of cube 2. Cube 2 is the object I want the player to control that I created here. So cube 2 is the object I want the player to move. I want to change the position x property by subtracting 1 from it. I want to move it to the left. So let's just see if that works. So I'm pressing the left arrow key. It's working. So let's program the rest. I have an if statement and then three more else if statements. So it's going to check these in order one at a time. It's going to check if the key code is equal to 37, the left arrow. Then we're changing the x position by subtracting 1. Else, if it's not the left arrow, is it key code equal to 39? Is it the right arrow? If the right arrow key is pressed, then we're going to add 1 to the x position of that cube that we want to move. Okay, if it's not that, then it's going to check the next one. If the key code is equal to 38, that's the up arrow, then we're going to change the z position of that cube by subtracting 1, because subtracting one from the Z position will make it move forward. But if it's not that, then it's going to check this one. If the key code is equal to 40, so that's the down arrow, then we're going to add 1 to the Z position of that cube. So all four directions are covered. Left, right, forward, and backward. And if we let this run, now we have our key controls to move the cube. Right on.